Hello, today's daily reading comes from the Apocrypha, and the book is Judith, and we're reading out of chapter 15, and it reads as follows. When those were who were in the tents heard, they were amazed at what happened. Trembling and fear fell upon them, and no man dared stay any more in the sight of his neighbor. But rushing out with one accord, they fled into every way of the path of the plain and of the hill country. Those who had encamped in the hill country around Bethulia fled away, and then the children of Israel, every one who was that warrior among them, rushed out upon them. Ozias sent to Batimotheum, Bibai, Chobai, and Kola, and to every coast of Israel to tell about the things that had been accomplished and that all should rush upon their enemies to destroy them. But when the children of Israel heard, they all fell upon them with one accord and struck them to Kobai. Yes, and in like manner, also they of Jerusalem and of all the hill country came, for men had told them about what happened in their enemies' camp. And those who were in Gilead and in Galilee fell upon their flank with a great slaughter until they were past Damascus and its borders. The rest of the people who lived in Bethulia fell upon the camp of Asher and plundered them, and were enriched exceedingly. The children of Israel returned from the slaughter and got possession of the, of that which remained. The villages and the cities that were in the hill country and in the plain country took many spoils, for there was an exceedingly great supply. Jochum the high priest and the elders of the children of Israel, who lived in Jerusalem, came to see the good things which the Lord had showed to Israel, and to see Judith and to salute her. When they came to her, they all blessed her with one accord and said to her, you are the exaltation of Jerusalem. You are the great glory of Israel. You are the great rejoicing of your our race. You have done all these things by your hand. You have done with Israel the things that are good, and God is pleased with it. Blessed be you with the Almighty Lord forever. And all the people said, Amen. And the people plundered the camp for the space of thirty days, and they gave Holofernes' tent to Judith, along with all his silver cups, his beds, his bowls, and all his furniture. She took them and placed them on her mule and prepared her wagons and heaped them on it. And all the women of Israel ran together to see her. And they blessed her and made a dance among them for her. She took branches in her hand and distributed them to the women who were with her. Then they made themselves garlands of olives, she and those who were with her. And she went before all the people in the dance leading all the women, all the men of Israel, followed in their armor with garlands and with songs in their mouths. And Judith began to sing this song to thanksgiving in all Israel, and all the people sang with loud voices this song of praise. Judith said, Begin a song to my God with timbrels, sing to my Lord with cymbals, make melody, melody to him with psalm and praise, exalt him and call upon his name. For the Lord is the God that crushes battles, for in his armies in the midst of the people, he delivered me out of the hand of those who persecuted me. Ashur came out of the mountains from the north. He came with tens of thousands of his army. Its multitude stopped the torrents. Their horsemen covered the hills. He said that he would burn up my borders, kill my young men with the sword, throw my nursing children to the ground, give my infants up as prey, and make my virgins a plunder. The Almighty Lord brought them to nothing by the hand of a woman. For their mighty one didn't fall by young men, neither did sons of the Titans strike him. Tall giants didn't attack him, but Judith, the daughter of Merari, made him weak with the beauty of her countenance. For she put off the apparel of her widowhood for the exaltation of those who were distressed in Israel. She anointed her face with the ointment bound her hair in a tiara, and took a linen garment to deceive him. Her sandal ravished his eye. Her beauty took his soul prisoner. The scimitar passed through his neck. The Persians quaked at her daring. The Medes were daunted at her boldness. Then my lowly ones shouted aloud. My weak ones were terrified and trembled for fear. They lifted up their voice and they fled. The sons of ladies pierced them through and wounded them as fugitive children. They perished by battle, by the battle of my Lord. I will sing to my God a new song. O Lord, you are great and glorious, marvelous in strength, invincible. 
Let all your creation serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent out your spirit and it built them. There is no one who can resist your voice, for the mountains will be moved from the foundations with the waters, and the rocks will melt as wax at your presence. But you are yet merciful to those who fear you, for all sacrifice is little for a sweet savior. Savor, and all the fat is very little for a whole burnt offering to you. But he who fears the Lord is great continually. Woe to the nations who rise up against my race. The Lord Almighty will take vengeance on them in the day of judgment to put fire and worms in their flesh, and they will weep and feel their pain forever. Now when they come to Jerusalem, they worship God. When the people were purified, they offered their whole burnt offerings, their free will offerings, and their gifts. Judith dedicated all Hodafernus' stuff, which the people had given her, and gave the canopy, which she had taken for herself, out of his bedchamber for a gift to the Lord. And the people continued feasting in Jerusalem before the sanctuary for three months, and Judith remained with them. But after these days, everyone departed to his own inheritance. Judith went away to Bethulia and remained in her own possession, and was honorable in her time and all the land. Many desired her, and no man knew her all the days of her life. From the day that Manasseh, her husband, died and was gathered to his people, she increased in greatness exceedingly, and she grew old in her husband's house to 105 years, and let her maid go free. Then she died in Bethulia. They buried her in the cave of her husband Manasseh. The house of Israel mourned for her seven days. She distributed her goods before she died to all those who were nearest of kin to Manasseh, her husband, and to those who were nearest of her own kindred. There was no one that made the children of Israel afraid any more in the days of Judah, nor a long time after her death. Amen.